In this video, we're going to show you all the steps we took to make a mini gallery wall using just the Bricante transfer. You'll notice it changes a little. I decided how big I needed my um, pieces to be because we this is 36 inches and we only had 36 by 38 inches um, on a wall that we needed. So the first thing I did was start my first project, which was, this is an old um, board. It was actually a sign board, which we have cut down. Um, we actually repainted it. It had, I don't know what it had on it, something else, but it wasn't, um, it was dated. And we put this beautiful, this um, is one of the elements in the Bricante, and we put the two birds on the end, and that is the top of our gallery wall, as you can see in the picture. So we have so eight elements. This one is done, totally done. It is all painted and sealed, and this is the first one, so I'm gonna move this off the table. We're gonna be using this one. We're gonna be using these bees. Um, we've cut two. The transfer comes with four of these French labels, and we are gonna be using two of them. Nope, we're gonna cut this one out. That is part of our, our project is that one. You can see there's a lot of elements. And this is the other botanical that we're going to be using. We're going to be using two of the large botanicals. Um, and, this one, and this is one that I have just put a top coat on. And this is ready for this element. So we are going to go ahead and put that on. And what we did is it's just, it's the 8x8. Eight eight. This fits perfectly on the 8x8. Eight It's a European coin. Awesome. Okay, then I have another, we're doing two of those, we're gonna call them labels, I think that's what they are. And this one is going, it's the same, cut from the same piece. This is going in an eight by 10. Um, Just gives it a picture frame look. Exactly, using the opposite. And we cut this one down a little bit, we've got the other, and that's the Just same size frame? In. Nope, this one is an 8x10, that one was an 8x8. Okay. We just, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit. All right. Oh yeah, I can see all the crackle on that one. Yep. So that is the text. That's the vintage texture stamp, which I don't think I've done a project without it since it was introduced. So that's with the transfer. It's on the transfer that crackle. No, the crackle is the background. Oh, okay. And I had one little piece that I had to cut off, and I love to have my typography going both ways, so I'm going to put it that way. And then, then I know I've got everything on there. Right. So, this is still going to be sanded a little bit. We've got several different colors, but it's not quite dry yet. So here's two more elements. Almost done. So we're going to put something on the outside of that frame? I'm going to sand it and then just put a little bit. I'll put a all everything I do, I try to frame it in. So this is just framed in with a little extra of the um, texture stamp around the edges. This one is framed in, and all I did with this one is lay the um, stamp pad along the side of it, which we'll do on another one. Um, because if you don't have some kind of frame, your pieces kind of just don't have. They they just don't. They're not um, grounded. Grounded yeah. is the word. They're not it loses its focus. 
So what I did is, like I said, I did two of the same. So this one actually has the additive in the background, two different layers of paint, and then it's sanded back. And I did the same thing on this one. We just haven't sanded it yet, but I think we have. So I'm going to show you two of the other boards that we're going to be using. And these ones, ones, these two for the backgrounds have the kindness regard stamp. What do you call it? Kindness regard is oh, the okay. name of the stamp. Like I said, all of the backgrounds have stamps, some kind of texture. So here is the small one, and here is the 12 by 16, which is the large one. And again, I just did a little bit of dark gray around the edges, but these two need top coats. So we're going to put top coat on them right now so that perhaps we'll get to finishing them. I'll try and get in a little bit closer for you all. So we are building a gallery wall with the Bricante stamp transfer and some stamps that we've used for the background. I said I love that vintage textures and this is the big uh -huh. <laughs> no it's my crate. It is, what's is the dimensions a, on that? This is the largest board. It's similar to the one we just did. It's the 12 by 16. Now is that a frame underneath? Yep, they're all the same. So you could use both sides and you're gonna use this big floral because I love botanicals. I like this though. So I did a little research on um, gallery walls on, on, on the internet, and of course it was lots of varying ideas. What should be the same? Should the pictures all be similar? Should the frames all be similar? Should what should the sizes? What how varied should they be? And I just took a little bit from each each one. I knew okay. I wanted some consistency in the design, and that's easy with the Bricante, because they all kind of have that really nice French feel. So that was, this is, this is gorgeous. Wow, that is nice. I want to bring a little closer, can you? So it is off-white paint, which then had a gray um, chalk style paint, which I applied with the roller onto the stamp. And it is the um, Peely paint, one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the vintage textures. Okay. Vintage textures stamps. Stamp, right. And I'm gonna wanna add a little more gray around the edges to this one so i'm not going to go ahead and seal it yet okay so you're going to create your border yeah i want to create a little more of a frame frame around it and this is this board and it is actually going to be similar to this board it's the same color as the top board and it's going to ground the design and it is going to have bees on it so we are going to go through the design, and we're going to pull out some of these bees. What's a flower without a bee? That's right. These are the pollinators. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Here's two more bees. And maybe oh. we will pull one of them butterflies. Okay, Mr. B. Cut his legs off. Huh? I didn't cut his hairy little legs off. Another I love all the critters on this one. 
Let's see what we can do. It's a definitely a multi-pack. Oh, it's a great, great, great. We need some, uh, need some words for this. You know, I don't like anything without a little bit of typography on it. Okay, so this is the only one I'm going to press to this extent here. The rest I did ahead of time, just to save you guys all that aggravation and noise. So, I'm going to... Okay. I am going to just hit my edge with this to just pull it in. Oh, is that blue? Uh... Nope. Gray. Gray. Dark gray oh, okay, paint. dark gray. Can you see okay. it? It's very faint. Well, it's not a broad line, it's just uh, it's an just edging. Edge. Yeah. But we're going to do a little on each edge. So oh, yeah, it's a nice highlight. Yep. It All was it just is. so tricky, baby. <laughs> You're not supposed to call me baby online. Oh. When we're live. <laughs> That's very nice, Margaret. That's enough to give you. Yeah. Give some. Okay. I might as well finish this. Mm -hmm. Because when it dries, then I can do the top <clears throat> coat with this. It's the dark gray ink. IOD. Just adds. It pulls mm -hmm. the design. It finishes the design off. And so now it'll outline your border as well. How cool is that? Yep. Name. Again, I'm just taking my ink pad and going along the edge mm -hmm. for a little bit of depth there. And the less of a slant, the farther in it goes. Well, sort of. I don't care. I mean, it's obviously not made to be exact. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a little bit more on that edge. Mm -hmm. But I still think I might want to do a little bit more. But I am in love with that combination of the, mm -hmm. that stamp with this particular um, part of the design. All right, this one's ready. Can I switch with you? You We're sure can. Go ahead. All right, so we know how good that one comes out. Now we have another one to do. Which again, this is going to be the other large botanical.
down yet. This is the last one. This was a pretty big project. You could see I really wanted to get it done. I several of the things I've shown you guys, I've just been able to show you parts of it. But here's mm -hmm. my last piece for today. This. 